Hey, I'm Megan. Welcome back to my channel. I used to work as a bridal consultant and I'm continuing this series of by telling you another crazy weird story. I was in the middle of two appointments and I had to quickly go into the back to grab um, some shoes for a bride to try on. And when I went and opened the curtain to go into the back room, I noticed a woman on the ground praying. Like she was doing the whole like prayer thing going on and and I really didn't know what to do because I didn't want to interrupt her by any means. But then I noticed underneath her is a bridal dress, like a flowy bridal dress. And I'm like, where did she get this dress? And how did she manage to get back here without any of us knowing with this dress? So I'm standing there. I can't even go across past her or anything because I feel like I might interrupt her praying moment. I don't really know what to, like, I was going to say, it's, I'm just going to call it like her prayer because I don't know what religion she was and I don't want to um, offend anyone, obviously. So she was in the middle of her prayer and I closed over the curtain. I went to where this dress was hanging in the store. We only had two dresses and both of those dresses were there. So I'm wondering, oh my gosh, did she just get an actual bride's dress that had come ordered in? I go straight to my manager. I pull her aside and I was like, hey, there's a woman in her back room praying. I don't know. <laughs> like, how else do you tell someone that? So, and my manager just stood there. She goes, what? And I was like, yeah, girl. Like, she's praying on a bridal dress, and I'm pretty sure it's a bride's dress that is ordered in on the ground that this woman is praying on. <laughs> my manager obviously goes, opens the curtain, sees this woman doing her thing, and closes it back over. She's like, well, I don't know what to do. And I said, I don't know what to do either because I'm not comfortable. Like, neither one of us were comfortable stopping someone in the middle of a prayer. So it was just, like, the weirdest situation. She couldn't have come to any of us and been like, hey, I have to pray. Like, this is something that I need to do. It's like, you know, like, I have to. Because sometimes with some religions, um, you have to pray at certain times of the day. So if that was happening, she could have come to one of us and we would have given her um, this one area that would have been actually fantastic for it. But instead, she just <laughs> did it herself. Like, I couldn't even give it her, like, a changing area. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I just kept tabs on it with my manager, and we let all the other employees know. And I'm dealing with these brides, and all of a sudden I see her, like, walk on out of the back area as if nothing ever happened. And I go and I pick up the dress. Like, it wasn't dirty or wrinkled or anything. Like, she hadn't gotten it, like dirty in any way. I just picked up the dress. I went through the system to see who had ordered this dress and sure enough it was a bride's dress that she had just grabbed, laid on the ground and <laughs> prayed for like a like half hour on it. <laughs> Could you imagine if that bride knew that her dress was used to just casually do a quick prayer on? Thank you so much for watching this weird story. If you want to see any more crazy weird bride stories, please click like and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more as well as some tips from a bridal consultant. So thank you so much. Bye!